Right, so what we have here is a hydrogel demonstration. So our claudial silica demonstrating what it does inside the concrete. Um, to start off, let's have a look at what claudial silica is. So claudial, this means uh, solid suspended in a liquid. Um, I've got a demonstration here to show you of, to demonstrate the particle size of our claudial silica. So the more transparent, transparent the liquid is, the smaller the particle size. So to demonstrate that, I've got milk, it's also a claudial, it's got a fat particle in it. The heavier the particle, the more opaque the substance. So totally opaque, you can't see through a glass of milk. We have a glass of claudial silica, so it's claudial, it's sand suspended in liquid, highly reactive sand, completely transparent, showing the size of the particles. What we do is we've got some product here, the hydrogel. When it gets into the concrete, whether that's admixtured in or spray applied into the processes of concrete, it reacts with the alkalinity, the hydroxides and other alkalinities inside the concrete. To recreate the alkalinity inside concrete, we've simply taken some baking soda, added it to water to get the alkalinity. We add that to our product. So now we have alkaline pore water, so to speak, with claudial silica. So if that was inside your concrete, and that will go off over a matter of minutes. So this is obviously an exaggerated demonstration. Um, it doesn't go off that fast. It takes about 72 hours to do its reaction inside concrete. Um, it also is a slightly different hydrogel. It builds a um, calcium silicate hydrate, but for the all intents and purposes, this is showing how the claudial silica turns alkaline pore water inside concrete into a solid state. Um, this will take, as I said, a few minutes to go off, and then we can have a look at the end product of our hydrogel. Saving the world, one concrete structure at a time. Markham, adding life to concrete.